Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick video to let you know there's a new tool from Sneaky FPV. Now Sneaky FPV is the person behind all the custom walksnail fonts and Sneaky works with both the walksnail people directly but also lots of other people like the WTFOS team and the others. He makes some fantastic fonts. I use his stuff an awful lot in the walksnail things. Now in iNav 7.0 they continue to improve support for walksnail fonts and give you lots of goodness but also in beta flight partially in 4.5 but fully in 4.6 of beta flight there's also some additional options too cool thing is potentially in wtfos in 0.12 and later there's also some custom stuff supported as well lots of numbers in there the good thing is is all this is documented on his website but what he has just done is brought out a new tool that allows you to put in your own logo or image into the goggles so you can see them both on the WTFOS on Betaflight and in iNav and I've wanted to be able to show my pill when the system is armed in iNav 7 as the part of the arming screen but then also potentially to have my logo displayed in the OSD all of the time these kind of things make me happy. Now, it's been supported since iNAF 7 came out, which is quite a while ago, but there hasn't been a tool, and I've been um, annoying Sneaky. Shannon over there, Sneaky FPV, has been very, very decent with his time, and he's kind of come up with this tool that allows you, if you have a graphic or a logo that you want to add into your goggles, it's now available. Now, I'm going to put links down below to all of this. It's relatively easy to do. All you have to do is go on his website. You can download the tool. While you're doing that, I would also recommend that you download the font files that you've already got, and then you can edit those font files to add in and modify those font files to include your own logo or image that you want displayed. So let me just jump on the computer and show you how that works. So with it downloaded, then we can just run it. Click on Logo Tool, which is the application to run it. It might give you a warning in something like Windows that um, you need to allow it because it's a new program. Now, I'm just going to close this up a little bit because we're going to scroll around inside it. There are four things at the top which gives you an example of what the logos are going to look like. There's a Beta Flight Pilot logo and then three different ones for iNav. If we click on each, I'll give you a very quick whistle-stop tour. Beta Flight logo looks like this. It's going to replace the Beta Flight logo on the arming screen with whatever you want. Could be your logo, could be a graphic of any type that you're after. Next one is the iNav Pilot logo. This looks like this, where you still have the iNav logo on one side and then you can have your own graphic on the other and it is separated via this CLI. So there, there's a gap between the two. Next one then is the iNav Pilot Extended. That uses both what was the iNav Pilot logo and basically overwrites it so that both of those pieces can be used for your logo. And again, you have to set ISD iNav to Pilot logo spacing to zero so they're side by side so there isn't any gaps. And then the final one is the iNav Pilot tag. And that's the one that looks like this, that you can have displayed all the time while your OSD is running. It's essentially three characters wide, and it's quite a small version, but I'm quite excited to have my pill shown in the screen all the time. But when it gets uploaded, it's going to be put into the font PNG file that's basically cut up into three pieces that can be used to create the logo. So now we know that, we can run through. I've decided I want the iNav Pilot tag. If you want to have multiple ones of these, so maybe you want the iNav Pilot Extended and the iNav Pilot tag, you run through this program and do each separately, but on the same PNG file. So we're going to select the flight controller type. Again, iNav 7 Plus is what you need, or Beta Flight 4.6 ideally. Uh, they both will create user-created logos. I'm going to go for iNav. That's also going to change a few things further down in terms of the help stuff and other things. We need to select the font file. This is the original font file. Again, you can download them from Sneaky's website. I'm going to pick one that I like. So we'll pick uh, Sphere, for example. So that's going to be ready. We get some nice iNav help information. Again, if we've selected beta flight up here, it's actually going to give us the beta flight stuff. Be aware of this. This is what you need to put in iNav for everything to work. 
And then I'm going to select the logo PNG of the actual image that I want. Now, the cool thing is, is it will scale now. So if you have uh, the larger version, it'll scale it down. If you click on the logo resolutions table, there's this version that's available here. If you look in the documentation and the help file, there's actually a much more detailed version with extra detail. But I'm going to be flying typically in 1080p or even 720 for the walks nail system so i've created a little logo for the inav pilot tag of the right size so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the logo png i'm going to load it in and i'm going to click overlay and save and it's going to tell me that where it has put it so now if i open that particular file this is what is actually in the font files so the, these are the individual characters character by character and so i scroll down you'll see all the letters everything else and eventually if we keep going we will find it has shoved in those three because that's the inav logo we can see here that's normally displayed again if you're using the extended um, logo then that's going to get overwritten and i might do that in a minute but if i keep going down here there's direction to home arrows we have lots of space in here for extra things. And there are the three parts of my logo that will be reconstituted for those three characters. We'll actually create it on the screen. And then the last thing to do is to copy this new file that I've just created and stick it into the standard tools or onto your goggles if you're going to use them. And next time it fires up, so long as you've set up all the stuff that's said in here about the 9av CLI and the OSD layout, then you're going to find that your logo is going to appear. Again, be aware that there are multiple versions. Betaflight has very simplistic support for this. iNav has a little bit more clever stuff. Again, if you want to have things like your iNav pilot tag, which is what I was interested in doing, but also to have it come up when it starts with a big version of your logo, then you can either rerun again on that particular one that you've just updated, rerun it through the tool to add that extra bit to it. You can't do both things at once. So a massive thank you for Shannon or Sneaky FPV for again giving all this time and effort and goodness to us pilots for free. Do remember to hit that button on there to send the guy some money if you are using this stuff and liking it it just keeps these people incentivized to continue to make some really really cool stuff again i use his fonts if you're running walk snail stuff i'll put links down below to things like the font packer tool uh, sounds a bit weird but that allows you to have multiple fonts on the goggles that you can change between ardu pilot beta flight and inav and then also that's a great way to upload those fonts once you have done all of the tweaks and changes but I just wanted to let you know that this thing was about because if like me you use this stuff it's one of those other cool things that you can do with stuff like Warsnail and iNav. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Painless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already please hit the like and subscribe button it helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.